there is folklore out there. There's misinformation. The one key thing that I can tell you, specific, every state has their own different absentee. We don't have absentee since 1996. Arizona was leading the, the movement towards mail balloting. 1996 is when we changed from an absentee state, meaning you need a notary, you needed to swear that you were not going to be here on election day to get a ballot early to a no excuse early voting state. We've been doing it almost three decades. That means we have a lot of lessons learned. So one of the things is when people say that everybody gets a ballot and they're all mail, that's not true. It's folklore. First and foremost, and we work our way backwards, you can't get a ballot unless you're registered. Well, how do I register? Well, we register, you must provide a registration form and proof of citizenship, proof of residency. And we bounce that up against several repositories such as INS, uh, MVD, uh, vital statistics to see if you're deceased, all of these things that prevent somebody to getting on the rolls, first and foremost, we they're vetted. Fraud overall in elections is extremely, extremely minimal. And there's no um, differences if you look at in-person voting versus mail-in voting. And in Arizona, um, in the 2018 election, 78% of voters uh, voted by, by mail. Uh, so that's a, a huge majority there. And um, so we just, we don't see the incidence of fraud and there's so many safeguards in place, starting with um, the fact that the envelopes that are, are tamper proof and tamper evidence. So if somebody tried to tamper with a ballot, um, it would be very clear that that had happened. Um, they're barcoded and tracked. So when they leave the county recorder's office, they're tracked. And then um, uh, the voter, once they return that ballot, either by mail or dropping it off, um, they can track that it's been received um, and that it's ready to be tabulated. And um, the voters' ballots are not going to anyone who's not a registered voter, and they shouldn't go to anyone who has not requested it. So either through that one-time early ballot request or being on the permanent early voter list. If you haven't requested a ballot by mail, you're not going to get one. I can tell you for Arizona, we've done our due diligence. They, We contacted the director in charge of Arizona and actually New Mexico. Our sort facility has not had a change made to them. No equipment was taken down. Not that it couldn't have been or was scheduled for. They have not. And we will see the same throughput, which means we will not experience it. But for the masses out there that may not believe that, and, and again, maybe they just don't trust their postman because they didn't give them the Christmas card they supposed to, whatever it is, I get it. Then the ballot by mail, you take that again, go to your new polling place or your couch and drop it off. You don't have to mail it in. But now with Maricopa specifically, we will have upwards of 190 locations to drop it off at. But quite honestly, um, everything that I've seen really, um, it, it can't be backed up. There, there's, I, I haven't seen anything that people are out there saying happens actually reported to election officials. Um, th those kind of things should be investigated as crimes um, through the attorney general's office and they have an election integrity unit. Those, those things aren't actually happening. So things like people can vote ballots of dead people or they can um, find all these ballots that never got to the proper destination and turn them in. But as I mentioned, there's a rigorous signature verification process. Um, county election officials, county recorders are all the time working to clean up their voter rolls. They match their records with death records from the counties. And um, so those kind of things are not really rampant. The one thing we hang our hat on, though, for early voting, uh, on top of you can't get a ballot unless you're registered. We've tested your address so we know that you are at that address at the time you registered. So then you ask for a ballot, we track that ballot all the way to your mailbox. A lot of folks don't know that. I don't want to say it too loud because it, it's like Big Brother's watching, but we are. We Because we want the integrity of that ballot to make it. We can actually tell you just like, that's like nothing fancy. Everybody's doing it. UPS, Amazon, we are too. There were only 307 that we could not match. That we couldn't get the voter to call us or, or whatever it may be, 307 out of 1.2 million. That's how much, how good, not only how good we are, but we have trained forensic signature experts on staff. All of our permanent staff have to go through training every two years to look at slant, slope, all this wonderful thing. I don't want to bore you with that, but it's a good thing to know that we have experts on board and it goes through three levels of signature verification. There's not one ballot that can be made bad by one individual. 26 years of doing this, We've got every lesson learned, and we truly are best in class when it comes to mail ballot. 
only because we felt the pain points for 26 years to get to this point.